we are about to show you how to charge your Tesla or EV vehicle for free using the ChargePoint app and how to find your local free charger. Welcome back to the channel, guys. The first thing I would like to say today is thank you. I want to put out a big thank you to my first ever referral buyer using my Tesla referral link. So on January 28th of 2021, a very nice gentleman or lady named Bill used my referral link to order their very own Tesla. I don't know which one they ordered, but I know they ordered it. When I saw this, I was very excited. So Bill, whoever you are, thank you. This is my first referee referral link purchase. This is my first referral. For anyone that has never done this before, as soon as they make the order, the status will come as ordered. But I didn't receive my free miles yet. My account's still showing zero. I think I only get the miles after it's been delivered. So I'm sure once Bill gets their Tesla delivered, then the miles will show up in my account. So when that happens, I'll also give you an update and another thank you to Bill. Just gotta do a quick update. Future editor Hui talking. Throughout this whole video, my autofocus setting on the Sony a7S III was set to not eye priority, which means it was focusing on everything instead of just my eyes. My bad. So you might notice throughout this whole video that it's gonna focus hunt a lot, and that's what happens when you shoot at f1.8 without eye autofocus. So sorry, bear with it. Well, let's get back to it. Now on to more pressing details. The reason you're here today is to learn how to charge your Tesla for free. Yes, you can do it for free. With all the other videos out there, how they tell you you can charge your Tesla for free by either charging at home or at work, at superchargers. I'm not going to talk about those because in my mind, you're still paying for that. Yes, your electric bill at home, charging it, it's gonna be a lot cheaper, but you're still paying for it. If you're at work, yeah, that's free, but you're giving your time to the man. Not everybody has that luxury of working at a job where they supply free charging. I wanna talk about the ways that literally anybody can do this. And we're not gonna talk about the free Tesla supercharger miles because that's possible, but that's obvious. And no, we're not gonna talk about how you can just steal electricity by grabbing a super long extension cord, going somewhere random and just plugging it in and start charging. People do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. So for today's video, the two most important apps that you need to know about are PlugShare and ChargePoint. We'll talk about ChargePoint first. So ChargePoint is a free app that you can download on iOS or Android. First, you create your account for free. After that's all set up, you actually get your own card. This card is like a, uh, it's like a membership card. You use this card as a key to activate your charging sessions at these ChargePoint locations. It's just NFC. You tap it on the charger and it'll start your session and it's completely free. Now, if you were somehow to lose this card, don't worry, the app also acts as the card using NFC. And if you have Apple Wallet, you can just add the card right to your wallet. I'm a new found Apple user and there's a there's some there's some cool things about it, not gonna lie. The cool thing about the app is that it doesn't only show you just charge point locations. I've seen even Blink chargers, which is another network and it has its own app, but we'll talk about that in another video. It's basically the same thing as ChargePoint, but not a lot of people like it because the network isn't as good and they have a lot of, they're kind of expensive. I don't know. I use them for a bit, but I've had really good experiences with ChargePoint because I charge for free like 100% of the time. I don't think I've ever paid for one ChargePoint session. Let's keep it that way. Now, when going through the app and looking up these charging stations, you'll be able to tell if it's free or if it costs anything. Just go through the app, find the charger. Usually in the description, it'll say, free or it'll say a dollar per hour, two dollars per hour, whatever the cost is. I've used this app and the ChargePoint network a bunch of times. Whenever I know I'm out all day on shoots and I have gaps between my shoots, I'll plan ahead and look for these chargers to see if I can stop by, get some food, hang out at a charger, charge up a bit, and then go to my next shoot. I've done it on many occasions and I've never had any issues. Now ChargePoint, it's a great app, no complaints, but there is a better app. We're going to talk about PlugShare. Now, PlugShare is pretty similar to ChargePoint, albeit the ChargePoint interface is almost a little bit cleaner than PlugShare, but they're still pretty different. Let me explain. PlugShare is more of a community-based app where you don't need the app to activate any charging sessions. PlugShare doesn't have its own network of chargers or proprietary chargers where ChargePoint does or Blink does. PlugShare is really more just a Google Maps to help you find the charger that you're looking for in the area that you're looking for. So it'll show you chargers from different networks such as ChargePoint, Blink, Tesla, 
third-party chargers, destination chargers, everything. Chargers at hotels, restaurants, grocery stores, schools, hospitals. The way this is possible is because it's community-based. So all the members that are on this app, they're the ones that are adding these chargers to the network. The community in this app is building up the network by showing which chargers are available, how much they cost, where they're located, if they're free, if they're out of service, because you will run into a lot of chargers that are out of service. Sometimes you might find it the hard way because nobody ever updated it. Like I said, since it's community-based, the app is only as strong as the community that's currently active in it. But luckily, the community is pretty good. I've had very good experiences using this app. I've even added my own charger. I was recently at this new apartment complex doing a photo shoot for one of the units. And when I got there, I noticed there was a Tesla. And on the side of the Tesla, I saw it was connected to something. And right behind it, there were two more chargers. And right behind it, there were two chargers. One was still available. So I backed in, had to check it out. It was charging at like 25 miles an hour for free, which was perfect because I went off, did my shoot, let the thing charge, come back, and it was a good time. So yes, PlugShare, great app to help you find chargers that are free, that are nearby you. People will comment on whatever charger you're looking at and give you some useful information such as, hey, I was here yesterday and I charged for free for two hours, everything was great. Or you might find out more useful information like, hey, be careful, second stall is out of service, don't use that one. Just keep in mind, these people are like you and me. They're not here to hurt anybody, they're trying to help you. The EV community is pretty cool. If you're gonna get into this app, be a cool guy back and uh, help out the community add useful comments, add new chargers. Oh, the other thing is some people will even put out their home charger on the app in case of emergencies. I've seen a few around here in Philly that are offering a free emergency charge if you're in the neighborhood and you're at zero. Just give them a call and they'll help you out. Some people even make a business out of this. You could get a charger installed at your house, put it on the app, put your number or email out there and say, Hey, if you need to charge, give me a call. I'll charge you less than the Blink network across the street that's charging like 29 cents per kilowatt hour. Who knows? Might be a good business opportunity for you. But anyways, that is it. That is how I've been charging for free for the past year of ownership with my Tesla Model 3. When I first got it, I did not have a garage and I had to get very creative with how I kept charging the cars because street parking in Philly, it wasn't the best. But hey, it was doable. And if you think you need a garage to own a Tesla, Think again. New video on that topic coming very soon. Well, that's it for me. If you guys found this video helpful, I would highly appreciate it if you could give a like, comment something down below, subscribe to the channel, join me on the journey. Let me know the next uh, video idea. So far, I've been making some Tesla videos, eye surgery videos, Airbnb videos. I really don't know what this channel's about, but I don't care. I just want to have fun. I just want to make some stuff. Just graduated college, all right? Leave me be. I got some extra time on my hands, so let me figure it out for a bit. Anyways, thanks for staying, and I'll see you next time. And then you have your best friend come pick you up, because then you're gonna leave your <laughs> you're gonna leave your car here while he picks you up. Hey, buddy, say hi. What's up, everybody? Currently charging, 13 miles an hour. That's gonna jump up to about 22, 23, 25, 26. 26 miles an hour, free, 30 amps. Good stuff. And now, we go away. And have our good buddy take us off into the sunset. <laughs>